When working in sheet metal, it's common to need to adapt one shape to another, like when you're working with a duct and you need to go from a square shape to a circular shape. But how do you do that in sheet metal? Let's find out. To access lofted profiles in sheet metal, we'll come up here to the lofted button and here this menu comes up and what we'll find is we can go from square to square, from square to circle, and from circle to circle. And between these lofted profiles, uh, let's choose square to square first. I can adjust my dimension, of course. Maybe I want to go to a 4x4 four four square. And you can see how our profile updates. And indeed, indeed, I can change this to 6x6 six six if I'd liked to make that side larger. I can adjust the rounding of my corners. Right, right now we have a radius of 0.5. Maybe I want to go to a radius of 2. Uh, that's probably a bit too big, 1.5. We can have a much more rounded off corner. So I can start to customize these profiles. But if I want to have a rectangular profile, I most certainly can. I would just click on this chain link to unlink the dimensions, and now I can make this whatever I'd like. Perhaps I'd want a 4 by 2. And of course, I'd have to go less than 1, so I'll go 0.75 on my rounded corners. And that way the geometry works out. <clears throat> I can unlink this, and maybe I can say I want this uh, over here to be 8. Right, and then we become wider. Maybe I want this side to be 8. So there's a number of interesting flange profiles that we can make. And of course I can adjust my dimensions here as well. I also can create uh, something that's off-centered between these profiles. So I can say, maybe I want this an inch off-center here, and maybe I want this six inches off-center here, and we can create a pretty unique duct shape. And I can say, OK, when I'm all done. So likewise, I can delete and re-add a new lofted flange. Maybe I can go from, and, and of course you can change what kind of flange you're doing just by clicking on the picture. Maybe I can go from square to circle here, and I can say, oh, you know what, I want this to be 2 inches, and I want this to be 8, and we can just customize it just like we did last time with this different profile. We can also change the uh, angle if we would wish. Right, so what we're doing is when we look on the top view, right, we can change the output angle here so that our face will be normal to different places, uh, which I think is a really cool feature. And of course, we can always flatten these out when we're done and see where our bends should be. We are, we are also able to modify these flanges with, say, more flanges when we're done, right? So I can add a flange here, as you can tell. We can continue to add features to these and flatten them out when we're done. So I think adding uh, lofted sheet metal features is pretty straightforward and easy to work with, and we can continue modifying them after they're generated. And that is how we loft with a Libre sheet metal. We'll see you in the next video.